Hey everybody, uh, this is Erez from Download Squad, and I'm going to try to show you Pivot by Microsoft Live Labs. And you know, it looks really, really cool on the demo, but uh, I just set it up and um, I'm just going to start using it with you guys as you uh, watch. So let's see now. Um, I'm just running it. You need, by the way, Windows 7 or Windows Vista to run it. And automatically navigates to the uh, collections page where you can see this is basically Microsoft's showcase like what you can do and here's a bunch of elephants endangered species okay let's click that let's see this is on a pretty powerful computer so uh, you can see it's not very fast and here we go okay this is pretty intense right here. Dragging this slider is another way to zoom in and out. Let's see, let's try. Okay. And basically what Pivot does, in case you did not watch the uh, video, um, it lets you visualize complex sets of data in diverse and uh, multiple ways. So in this case, we can see a list of uh, endangered or vulnerable species. And we can zoom in, extreme zoom in, let's see. Oh, it zooms all the way into a Wikipedia entry about an endangered fish, actually. Okay, now let's zoom out again. How do we do that? Uh, here's a history, I think. Let's see. Okay, zoomed, whoa, this just opened Firefox. Oh no, Internet Explorer. Let me close that. And we zoomed all the way out. I have no idea how to use this thing. Okay, click back into the endangered species list. See, I'm getting the hang of this, slowly but surely. This is a pretty new paradigm. It's, it's never been done before, really. Okay, so again, so we have this uh, list and we can see it's sorted right now by red list status. And let's try sorting it by region. Click. This is nice, I like the animation. And then we can basically see what regions of the world possess the most endangered species. Um, or let's see by trends. Let's see what's increasing, for example. This is just, now this is actually a filter. I mean, this is the sorting and this is the filter. So we can see that in this region here, reunion to Uruguay, we have the most endangered species, which are actually increasing so we get a bit of a new perspective on this data and again I can zoom in and now I'm not zooming in too much so we can see that this is uh, for example just randomly the blue whale we can see status increasing in population and we can one thing I'm not sure how to do here actually is scrolling down and up you know you can only zoom in and out let's see if I drag oh there we go you drag you drag to scroll and okay so i'm gonna zoom back out to the list let's see what else i can figure out about endangered species here uh let me remove the filter so now i can see everything again and let's try sorting uh by population trend which is an interesting thing to try because ooh, that's that's grim that is very grim because as you can see most endangered species are actually still decreasing with just a very few species uh, increasing in population. Now let's try and see, I'm interested in uh, what types of species are actually increasing. Like for example, are we preserving mammals? So let's just filter by mammals. No, actually we're not. I can instantly see that uh, the population, even when I filter by mammals, I see the same trend. I mean, mammals are definitely decreasing and dying away. This is kind of a depressing demo, but uh, it's still very informative. Um, another interesting thing, hmm, only one type of fish. That's quite interesting. So this handsome uh, fish here is apparently vulnerable. It's an eel actually. Uh, yeah, an Indonesian eel. And I don't think I would have figured out that this is the only fish on the endangered species list had I not uh, clicked it. Or actually this is a very specific type of family. Here's a whole bunch of other fish. If I click this I see it. I need to zoom out. 
and I see all the fish on the list. Okay, so that's just one particular type of fish. Okay, now let's see. There is something called an item view, which shows it just item by item and not by the graph, but the graph view is so much cooler. And this slider here lets me zoom in and out, which I can also do. That's actually the default action when you click or when you scroll the mouse. Okay, pretty much had enough here. Let's see, what's recently viewed? Uh, this is the history right here. But uh, let's try going back to some other pivots. And I'm back in the gallery. Okay, so what's interesting? What's interesting? Um, concept cars, or guys, right? Guys like concept cars. Let's see. Let's see what information we can glean on concept cars. Oh, this is interesting. We can see most of them are coupes. Let's see what type of concept cars um, Alpha are pushing. They're pretty wild. Okay, interesting. They actually have one hatchback. These are pretty out there. Let's look at this one here. And exactly, we can pull up all sorts of uh, specs on it. Oh wow, this goes way back. This is 1968, so I can probably sort by year, right? Let's see, let's zoom out. Sort by production year, exactly. Okay, and as you can see, this is just Alpha here, and they've actually had a few decades of inactivity in the uh, concept car scene, at least according to this data, and they're basically back, well, I don't know if they're back, they're recently back, 2000 till 2005. I don't know if this means that they have nothing new. Let's remove the filter here, and yeah, exactly. So the list does go all the way to 210, but uh, Alpha did not make anything past uh, 2005, at least not per these data. Okay, uh, I could basically go on all night, but uh, I think I've given you a sense of uh, what Pivot can do and how crazy it is, and you can really visualize and get a feel for all sorts of uh, data, actually. Uh, right now it's just the data that Microsoft is making available, but this is a very early stage uh, showcase and I'm sure it's gonna open up and we're gonna be able to do all sorts of crazy stuff with it later on. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.